Hey guys, what's up? It's Maxine. Today's video is going to be a simple everyday makeup routine that I do pretty much all the time. Normally, I don't really wear that much makeup, but I still do wear something. I mean, I don't even always wear makeup when I go out and do errands and things like that. A lot of times on my days off, I don't wear any makeup at all. But on days that I go to work, I definitely wear makeup. I just like to keep it nice and light on a normal basis. So when I get up and go to work, I just kind of throw on like something quick. When I go out for like an event or something like that, or like a fun night out, or whatever the case is, like a day trip, I'll definitely do a lot more makeup because I wanna take pictures throughout the day and videos and things like that. But like, yeah, on a normal day, like I'm going to work, I just keep it really light and yeah. Also, when it comes to like the nighttime on a regular basis, it's so much easier just to quickly like wash my face when I don't have tons of makeup on. So right now I'm gonna be taking like my time through my everyday makeup routine, but like usually I throw it on in five minutes. Like, Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for post notifications so that you're notified the next time I upload a video and follow me on Instagram it's at Maxine Glynn and leave me a comment down below telling me what makeup item you couldn't live without okay so the first thing that I've been doing lately is I've been putting on moisturizer which is super rare of me like I'm not good at moisturizing at all I'm definitely falling into the zone of starting to try to be a little bit better with my skincare so I'm starting off with this Dermalogica I can't even say it this Dermalogica intensive moisture balance and yeah so I'm just I mean this shit's expensive so I'm only using like a little bit and I have a mirror here so if I'm looking over that's why so yeah this is just what I've been doing lately honestly and like I said like I'm not good at moisturizing and things like that but I know I have dry skin and whatever so I'm just trying to get better at that no matter what kind of skin type you have it's still good to take care of your skin so yeah that's what I've been trying to do hopefully I stick with it and then after I take off my makeup at night and shower after the shower, like I'll try to put a little bit on then too. But like I said, it's expensive, so I'm not trying to like go through it too fast. So <laughs> I did get this tinted moisturizer to try to help me, you know, keep the balance in my skin. And it's the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. And I've been taking like the same amount of, um, the same amount as like I did with the lotion because shit's expensive <laughs> like that's like the motto of the whole video <laughs> simple everyday makeup routine because shit's expensive <laughs> all right and then yeah like same thing like i just kind of been dotting it everywhere i don't think this is necessarily good to do with your skin when you're using like foundation because i feel like foundation is a lot thicker and it like pulls your skin more but this is moisturizer so it like it glides past your skin a lot better. So I don't know, I just feel like it's a little bit better than... So like, even though I know I should have a sponge, I don't think it's like that bad. So now I usually just do like a little concealer under my eyes. It's number nine, Sable. And I just dot a little bit under my eyes and on the top of my nose. I look like a warrior. <laughs> I just kind of dot this all over under my eyes, obviously. Yeah, like right now I'm talking through it, but usually I would have been like whip, whip, whip through all these steps. Like seriously, I don't got time for that. <laughs> but like, I really do like doing my makeup. So on a normal, like on some like a day when I go out and hang out with friends and do something fun where I want to take a lot of pictures and stuff, I definitely will take my time and do all these steps because I do love I do love doing makeup, I do love wearing makeup, but I'm just like low key, I don't know, like I like to keep it real, keep it natural on a normal day, you know? And then whatever's left over, I just do that. Okay, and I like to moisturize my lips too. Chapstick. This is the Coco Shea Butter. But that's another thing I don't do enough is moisturize my lips, like I'm dry. Okay, so as you can tell, <laughs> I'm super shiny and I hate being shiny. <laughs> so that's why I do a powder. And for a long time, I didn't do these two steps like at all with the moisturizing my skin. Like I would just go straight into powder. And my facialist said that it's probably making me way more dry than I even am naturally. Like it's doing straight powder is just drying me up so I'm like okay well that actually makes a lot of sense why didn't I think of that but like honestly 
my skin isn't like it's not like dry to the point where it's bothering me my my I have dry skin type but it doesn't bother me ever like the only reason why I'm starting to pay more attention to it now is because I'm like thinking in the long run like it probably will start to affect me I mean I know people like wrinkle and things like that prematurely when their skin is way too dry so right now it doesn't bother me at all but like and I'm lucky I don't have any wrinkles so thankfully but um yeah so I'm just trying to like kind of keep keep track of it you know but yeah so um this is the powder I use like all the time Sephora again and um it's the sh it's neutral it's number 20 neutral beige and since I've been doing this tinted moisturizer step, I don't have to use as much of this at all because tinted moisturizer is colored and this is colored too. So um, I don't like being shiny. Like I feel like I'm shiny everywhere right now from being moisturized. <laughs> so this is just to kind of cake me up a little bit and uh, take that tackiness, shininess away. So I thankfully I don't have to use as much of this at all. And I just kind of go a little bit all over yeah I just kind of like go all over and get rid of yeah I feel like it's already getting rid of some of the shininess I just don't like being shiny it makes me look like sweaty or something <laughs> the only time it's pretty to look shiny is if you got some like bomb highlighter on <laughs> But even I don't do highlighter like every day. Like that's just like for fun when I wanna dress it up a little bit, you know? Although I do love highlighter. But I don't know, like right now I took some time, like extra time <laughs> to like sit here and like do this video, but usually I don't give myself enough time in the morning to like do makeup, like at all. Like I just kind of, that's, I have only given myself five minutes or less to like throw something on to make me look awake, you know? Yeah, it already made me like way more uh, matte. I just like the matte look, you know? Gotta matte me up. And then blend it into my neck. So that I don't look tan on pale tan. <laughs> I need to go tanning. No, just kidding. I need the sun. I don't like going like fake. I only go I only go fake tanning like sometimes when I'm craving the sun, but I definitely want the real sun, please. And now I have a big fluffy, big fluffy brush and I just quickly fluff it all out. I have like a natural contour. Thank God for that. <laughs> I'll add contour like when I'm dressing up and stuff, but like it's nice. I don't have to really do that on a normal day. All right, what else do I do here? I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm like going through my makeup bag. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah. Um, this is cheap mascara from CVS, I think. Uh, I am looking for a really good mascara, so please let me know in the comments what like professional brand I, I don't know like if this is really considered professional brand because i bought it at like the makeup aisle you know like i wanted to get like a really good uh mascara that i'd get like at a makeup store or whatever um so yeah let me know in the comments what mascara you like to use but i really like the big fluffy brushes with like a lot of fluff to it you know like i want to add i have the length i have really long eyelashes naturally and think I love that like I love that I have long eyelashes but they're pin straight yeah like I just like to add the volume so let me know in the comments if you guys know of a good good mascara with like a fluffy brush like this thanks <laughs> I got you you got me you know I'll let you know the products I use you let me know the products you use <laughs> Yeah, so that was my everyday makeup routine on days that I go to work and things like that. See, it's nice and simple, not too much to it, but I just thought it would be a fun video to make. Definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and follow me on Instagram. It's at Maxine Glynn. Yeah, so thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, so give me, so give me your all. I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars. Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind. 
Just watch me breathe.